Hello my friends, it's time for another Essentials video for Affinity Photo and today we're gonna unlock the secrets of the levels adjustment. My name is Olivio, I'm a professional designer and I want to thank all of my patrons who support me and make these videos possible. That is super important, thank you for that, let's get started. I have already the levels adjustment open here and you might think you know how this works and how to use that, but you might be surprised at what it actually does. So let's get into that. I will close this real quick and delete it so I can show you where I get the levels adjustment because that's the first and most important part. So down here you have this little button for adjustments. The list pops up and the uppermost is the levels adjustments which tells you how important that is. What we see now is on the upper part, this little box has a histogram in it. The histogram means it tells you from the different channels of your photo, how the pixels are spread out over the picture, like a statistic basically. So on the left side, you have the dark values and on the right side, you have the bright values in your image. By the way, this doesn't really update life. So I prepared a little test palette here and you can see the histogram doesn't change. So you have to close it and reopen it and now it's updated. So that's also an important part to understand. I will close it again and remove the picture in the background because this is a really good way to show you what the level adjustment actually does. So you can see now in the histogram, I have these values here like a line because they are completely just in that value. And you can see from the fields here, the one on the right is 100% white and then diminishing the white part by 20% with each bar until there is no more white left and everything is just black. Observe what is happening if I move this upper lever, which says black lever. When I move it to my first line in the histogram, you can see that now also the 20% part is completely black and this progresses when I move my lever over. What you can also see and this is very important is that also the other bars are getting darker and this is really important to understand as the difference between the levels adjustment and the curves adjustment because the level adjustment will always adjust all the values in your image, not just the dark values. So you might think this will just change the dark values, but it changes all of the values throughout your pictures and makes everything darker. You can see until you go down here, it doesn't change the white values though. When you do the same thing with the second lever, which says white levels, it does the same thing. It makes everything brighter until we are completely white, unless the only thing that stays black is what is already 100% black. Then we have the gamma value. As you know, gamma is brightness. So we can move this and you can see that this will also influence the values. So it moves basically the values, notches them more to the dark side, more to the bright side. And by the way, as you can see here, when I go to the left, things are not getting darker, they are getting brighter. And when I go to the right, things are getting darker, not brighter, although I'm moving it into the area where the brighter values are. But you have to imagine it as a way, like you have a, a rubber band and you are pulling the darker values over to the right side, or you're pulling the lighter values over to the left side. So this is a good way to imagine it. Good, now we have these values below. Output black level. What does that mean? You have to think that your screen basically delivers colors to you. So it gives you an output all the time and you can adjust where this output ends. So when you move the black lever over, you will see that the black levels cannot output the darkest black values anymore. And the more you move this over, the brighter, again, all of the dark values get. So you can see it gets brighter and brighter and brighter until everything is completely white. And the same happens on my white level lever. If I push this in, all the values are getting darker. 
So you can use it like that to limit basically the way or the ability of your image to output completely white colors and brighter colors and completely black colors and darker colors. Next, we come to a really important part of the levels adjustment and you probably didn't even know you can do that. You can look up here, you see it says master. When you click on that, it pops out a list and it says red, green and blue, which are your color channels. So if you click on red, observe what happens. Again, these are just gray values. So if I move in the black level, it starts to become more blue. Or if you want to use a professional term, this color is actually called cyan. So you can see here 80% value, this is cyan. So that's interesting. When I move in the white level, it starts to become red. The bright values start to become red. That's interesting, right? And if I move my gamma, when I move it to the left, it becomes more red. Move it to the right, it becomes more cyan. Now, we have talked about the output black level, output white level. Think about a second what you guess is happening if I move in the black level. Here is what is happening. If I move it in, the darker values are starting to become more red. And when I move in the output white level, the brighter values are starting to become more cyan. It's interesting, right? So how can I use that to adjust my pictures? Let's switch over to the picture. Here we have it. and can see now black level. I move that in and the darker values in my picture become cooler. So I can, for example, use this to adjust my shadows and make the darker areas a little bit cooler. Then if I move into white level, the brighter values are starting to get warmer. So I can use this to warm up the highlights in my picture and the brighter values. But if I want to do if I want to go the other way, if I want to have warmer shadows, warmer dark values, what I'm going to do, I'm going to go down to my output black level and move that in. And you can see now that the darker values are getting warmer. It's interesting, right? And if I move in the output white levels, my highlights, my bright levels in the picture are getting cooler. So that is pretty useful for adjustment. But we have more channels. We have also the green one and we have the blue channel and they also change values in your picture, but with other color results. So if I move in the black level, it becomes more pink. The pink is actually called magenta in this case. And if I move in the white level, it becomes more green. Interesting, right? And of course, with the output level, the opposite happens. Black makes the dark values green and output white makes the white values more magenta. Let's go to the blue channel and here the black will add yellow to the values as you can see here yellow. And if I move in the white levels, you can see that the values are getting blue. It's interesting, right? Uh, so of course, with the output levels, the opposite is happening. And there is a little trick to remind you of the name of the levels and how they work. You can just open up your color balance adjustment. And here you can see the exact same thing. Cyan versus red, magenta versus green and yellow versus blue. The very same thing that we have seen just a second ago. So this is a little visual reminder, very helpful but we are not done yet. There's even more to look at because of course you have the blend modes and you can play around with them. I really want to invite you to experiment with that. So you can see here, even if you haven't adjusted anything, if the, all the values, let's click on reset here. If all the values are original, still this has an effect with the blend mode on your pictures. It can do some pretty cool things. For example, just using the levels adjustment and without changing anything, setting it to soft light gives you a very quick bump, a very quick like pop effect for your picture, gives a bit more contrast, makes the colors more intense. So this can be a very easy trick to use. And of course, you can adjust the opacity on how strong you want that effect to be in your picture. So 
try out the different blend modes and what they bring to your picture, to your adjustment. And of course, also try them out with the different adjustments that you have in here. I hope this brought you forward in your journey to become a better photo editor. Thank you very much for watching and see you in the next video. Bye.